I'm going to show you how you can upload Airtable attachments to Dropbox. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So this is what you would see after buying the tool. We would start by logging in with Dropbox. This gives us access to one directory and the directory will be mini extensions. So this app will not be able to touch any of your other stuff. It will only be able to access that directory. Go ahead and hit allow. open up that same extension again, and then you'll want to fill up the user API key, the base ID, and the table ID. Follow these blue links to find those. And then we'll want to add two more things. So first thing we want to add here is the attachment field. So this is the field that has all the files that we would like to upload to Dropbox. Second is a checkbox Airtable field. This is very important. The goal of this is for many extensions to know which attachments got uploaded and which haven't. So this is a checkbox. Once it's checked, many extensions knows that this row has been uploaded to Dropbox. So let's go ahead and run this. Take a second here. While it's running, I'll also explain two more things. Um, you can also have this run uh, through a webhook or schedule it to run regularly as well. So this looks like it got checked. Let's go ahead and check Dropbox. So this is Dropbox. So this is grouped by um, the record. Then in each record, we see that each photo is now uploaded. And notice how the record has multiple items in it but we've made sure that we've uploaded all of them in this directory.